As we're coming into the hotter months now in Australia, I thought it's about time I do some more seafood and fish recipes. So in this one, we're gonna be doing some quick crispy fried prawns served with a beautiful fennel salt and a delicious tangy lemon aioli. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright guys, let's start this off by making a delicious lemon aioli and what I'm doing here is using a towel to secure the bowl in place. The first thing needed is one free range egg yolk, then using a microplane or box grater, run one garlic clove across to create a paste which is also known as minced, making sure to scrape it all out of there to avoid any wastage and add the garlic into the bowl. Along with this add in 1 teaspoon or 7 grams of Dijon mustard for a nice tang, then using a whisk to mix the ingredients together until just combined. Now whilst continuously and vigorously whisking, slowly pour in 1 quarter of a cup or 60 milliliters of extra virgin olive oil and this is going to bind with the fat in the yolk to create an emulsion which is mixing 2 or more liquids together that usually wouldn't go with each other. Also if you didn't know the difference between aioli and mayonnaise is that aioli is made with egg yolks and garlic whereas mayonnaise is made with whole eggs. In saying that though, these days they're pretty much the same thing. Once all the oil has been poured in, give this a big mix ensuring none has pulled up to then leave us with this thick emulsion. Now with one large lemon, slice it in half, saving half to squeeze over our final product, and with the remaining half, extract the juice, either using a citrus juicer or your hand. To your taste, pour in enough of the juice that's to your personal preference, remembering that you can always add but you can't take out, then give this a mix and taste before adding in any more of the juice, and once you have your desired flavour, season to your taste with sea salt flakes, again mixing it through, and this can then be placed into the fridge until we're ready to serve. Place a pan onto your stovetop over a high heat and to this add in 10 grams or 0.3 ounces of whole fennel seeds to which we can toast for 2 minutes stirring frequently to enhance their flavour and these are going to be used to make an incredible fennel salt to season our prawns. Also toasting the seeds is a great way to practice the pan flick which is just as simple as only using your wrist and gently pushing forward to then flick your wrist back. Once the fennel has been toasted, add it into a spice grinder or mortar. Place on the lid or grab your pestle and grind this to a completely fine powder, leaving us with something that looks like this. The ground fennel can now be added to a bowl along with 15 grams or 0.5 ounces of sea salt flakes to which we can then give a nice mix, making sure that both ingredients are evenly distributed. And not only is this good for prawns, it's also incredible for pork belly, chicken, duck, salads, or really anything you like salt on. Also, this will last up to six months at full flavor stored in an airtight container. Now to fry the prawns, place a large high rimmed pan or pot onto your stovetop over a high heat and pour in enough sunflower oil, canola oil or vegetable oil to fill by one quarter and heat the oil to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit using a thermometer for accurate results. For the main ingredient, we're going to need 750 grams or 1.6 pounds of prawns or shrimp and the first thing we want to do is remove the head by giving it a gentle twist, saving the scraps which can then be used to make stock, soups and bisques. With these now, let's remove the shell and an easy way to do so is get your fingers under the shell on the belly side and gently peel upwards which should remove the shell easily in one piece. Also personally I'm leaving the tails on which I use as a handle to eat these but by all means remove the tail if you wish to do so. The last step is to remove the vein or de vein for the correct terminology and a very simple and easy way to do so is using a skewer and gently poke it through about 2mm from the top getting under the vein to which we can then pop it out and gently pull it out in one whole piece. I know some people skip this step but eating them with this is pretty gritty and gross and that vein also contains their feces so I highly recommend getting rid of it. Alright, so now that that's done, add 200 grams or 7.05 ounces of plain flour to a mixing bowl along with 1 teaspoon or 4.5 grams of baking powder, giving it a good mix to combine. The baking powder doesn't need to be added if you don't have it, but it will help give these an even more crispy crunch on the surface. In batches to avoid clumping, add in the clean prawns or shrimp, giving them a good mix to evenly coat each individual one, and once done, transfer to a plate. Going back to the oil which is now at the correct temperature, carefully and gently place in the prepared prawns or shrimp, doing so away from you to avoid any oil splashing back at you and fry these for 2 minutes or until beautifully golden brown. Also do this in batches if your pot or pan is on the smaller side, otherwise they'll be soggy and not crispy. Halfway through, give them a mix with a kitchen spider or slotted spoon, making sure none are stuck together which will affect their colour and crispness, and after 2 minutes and nice and golden brown, gently scoop these out, shaking off as much oil as possible, and place them onto a wire rack over a baking tray to drain, or place them onto some kitchen cloth over a plate. 
then with the oil, allow this to cool overnight, then pour it through a sieve to clean and it can then be reused. With the prawns or shrimp, these can now be generously seasoned with our delicious fennel salt with the amount being up to you, and to serve these up, place them onto a nice serving board or bowl, and to the people that will comment, you're using your hands, that's disgusting. Just remember this is my food and not yours, so just worry about yourself. Alongside the prawns, serve the lemon aioli as well as a wedge of lemon, and to make this all worthwhile, squeeze over the lemon to give these an amazing fresh citrus kick, and we can then dip our crispy and golden prawns into that lemon aioli, and we can then dig in. So there we have it. This recipe right here serves two to four people, or one, depending on what you want to do with it. And like most of my recipes, it can easily be doubled, tripled, and so on, or halved if you wanted to make less. As for storage and reheating instructions on this one, I don't recommend doing either of them, just because seafood can get bad bacteria very easily and make you sick. But as for the fennel salt, that will last six months, stored in an airtight container in a cool, dry space. And for the lemon aioli, if you have any left over, it can be put in the fridge for up to three days. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, comment, share, do all of that stuff. It really does help my channel out and consider subscribing along with hitting that bell notification next to it so you never miss when I upload. Thanks for watching everyone, stay safe and enjoy.